Hi guys, in this brand new series we are spending 100 days in the amazing map mod St. Paolo's Hammer. We will be playing as Andy Mann, a blue collar construction worker, the average guy. But first, we just hit 3,500 subscribers but I've noticed still a lot of you guys aren't subscribed so I need you to go down and subscribe if you want to help the channel out. Now let's get on with the video. Okay guys, welcome back to another 100 day series. We are playing in St. Paolo's Hammer map mod. I'm going to bring it up for you now and just show you it. Uh, pause it. Nice little city. I thought it's big enough to do 100 days in. So it's going to be interesting and see how it unfolds. We may branch out a little bit. But the backstory for this is it used to, uh, you know, create weapons, manufacture weapons and things like that. But it's, it's slowly dying out. So I thought, you know, let's uh, play as a construction worker. We are playing as Andy man <laughs> pun intended um we've gone construction worker these are our traits i'll run through them very quickly we've got thin skinned let's pause it high first uh slow healer underweight pacifist prone to illness dexterous cat size slow reader short-sighted weak stomach smoker outdoorsman brave fast learner keen hearing strong and fit so yes i've done a little bit of testing uh with this it does look like it's quite highly populated the settings are apocalypse with some exceptions we have quartz removal has changed uh mini maps on map is revealed because i don't want to be wasting time you know, searching for places i you know it's just wasting time for me and wasting time for you guys we want to know where we're going and if he lives in this town it makes sense that he would know it um just trying to think whatever uh settings have changed i think that's it if any come to me i'll uh be sure to let you know. Now let's see this tortilla chip. Oh yeah, we got the starter kit as well, which uh, I wanted because he's a construction worker. So, you know, I thought we'd have a hammer. Instead of modding it in, I just used the construction kit. Uh, now the construction worker, um, the starter kit, sorry. So the construction worker starts with three in short blunt. So we may go down that way. Mod wise, it's again, pretty light. We've got vanilla firearms expanded. We've got Maddox weapon packs, just to add some spice. I would of course link the collection in the description. So go check it out if you want to play any of the mods. We've got fantastic handwork as well which uh, i haven't played with well i have but not a lot so looks like this is our house we got garage and everything so i suppose we better uh first 10 days is always kind of secure in the area looks like we'll be staying here i i think um so yeah let's go and have a look outside but first let's uh of course uh secure our area get them curtains closed uh, i'm not too worried about life and living because uh, I feel there's there's bound to be a uh, a VHS store here, so we're not going to worry about that. We will take that bandage though. Oh, we got a welder's mask right off the bat, but is that going to take our? It does get rid of our construction helmet, but I'm going to wear it. You know, I'm going to wear it. Let's we'll keep the construction helmet around. Oh, we got a rifle right off the bat as well, which is nice. In the uh, the mod description, it does say that as I said, this will be uh, you know this town was used to produce firearms so i feel there's gonna be a lot of firearms that we're gonna be able to find which is nice because we got vanilla firearms expanded not too overpowered a good a good mix i think bloody hell we got another rifle already <laughs> uh and a magnum and some 44 rounds so there is definitely a lot of guns here i guess it may be the uh the the creator has increased the spawn chance for guns possibly i don't know all right, so we got we got some nice stuff just from our uh, starting house so we're gonna just dump all this i don't like that window been open um let's go into the the back here i'm gonna just dump all this on the floor for the time being you know how it goes we've got to get just put our stuff here for now we've got to get um you know our bearings and you know clear the area oh respawn is off as well i've turned respawn off because i want to uh yeah i just want to try and see if we can clear a little bit of it and and things like that really oh wow yeah we got a we got a fair few of them around already let's see if we can kite a couple we do have a car key which i reckon is for that there so we've got a car straight away hopefully that'll be nice we gotta be careful because as i say it's quite a high population map from what i've seen and tested i don't test a lot i just make sure everything's working so i don't really want to ruin a lot of it all right that's the initial lot sorted out we'll take that wrench thank you very much is the uh it is the key to this car let's see how we're looking not too good no fuel no engine but that's fine um we'll take oh bloody hell and more guns <laughs> okay so i'm just going to go up and down the street and just make sure we've got the majority of the zeds around here dead uh, i hope they haven't seen me because have these seen me no okay let's go deal with these over here then oh we got some here actually we have just got ourselves a nice digital watch thank you very much zombie all 
All right, so we got rid of uh, quite a fair few of them. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it another 100 days. They are uh, very time consuming, um, of course, but they're fun. And I, I really do think this is a, it looks like a really good map. So it deserves 100 days in it. You, can't be, you wouldn't be able to get it done in 30 days, I don't think. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Oh, there's more. There's more. All right, let's check these cars. We still got some Zeds over there that we need to deal with. Oh, screwdriver and duct tape. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Got a lighter. Oh, camping canteen. That is very nice. Thank you very much as well. Oh, another hum uh, camping canteen. Very nice. We got the key for this, but again, no dice on the engine. That's fine. Okay. We also have as well standardized vehicle upgrades, I believe it's called. So we can... Do all of this too, and it does support uh, filibuster rhymes as well. So that is really nice. Um, so we're going to be doing some metal work in. That's good. It's good. It gives us something. We can upgrade all of these lovely cars. But it looks like we've uh, cleared out the, the the initial area. Let's go and have a look what we got in our shed back there, shall we? It's nice that we got these fences here as well. We're pretty secure here. I'll also go dump some of this stuff off as well. Oh, our door. Is, that our, is this our house? Yeah, why the hell is the door closed? Do we go around the back? Hey, hey, buddy, come on. That's my window. Not already. Not on day one. Jesus. All right, we're in our garage. We have to break the door down. It sounds like there is uh, zombies on the other side. Um, okay, let's do it. Whoa. We have got beta blockers on this zombie. That is very nice. We are brave, so we won't be getting too uh, panicked, but it's still good to have. Uh, we're going to close that. <laughs> right, let's get rid of some of this stuff in our house. Oh, that fancy handwork's going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. All right, so I think I'd better uh, little mark our uh, base. We'll put our base there. Okay, that's good. Well, we'll probably loot these houses in the neighborhood uh, and then, yeah, go from there, really. Because, of course, we do need basics like uh, we'll eat some. We'll wait till we got some antidepressants, actually. We do need basics like a can opener, which we don't even have yet. I do like our house, though. Got to do something about this. Uh, let's try and move this chair. Oh, we actually managed to pick it up without uh, without breaking it. Okay, brilliant. Uh, oh, we can at least um, close our curtains now, which is good. Uh, let's just keep going uh, one by one. Mark off the houses on this road. That is the first, uh, you know, the first thing you got to do, day one. And we'll take the chips and the two cigarettes. That is nice. Thank you. Nice duffel bag would uh, would be nice about now. But, you know, you don't always get what you want in PZ, as we all know. Oh, we do have some... Oh, we got a nice steak and also a pot of soup, is that? We're going to eat all of that to get our weight up. Ah, and a can opener. Amazing. We'll favourite that straight away. Oh, how to use generators already. <laughs> oh, amazing. We don't even have Lucky. But I'm not complaining. Oh, no. Saw. Nice, 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 nice. We'll take that. Oh, metal pipe. That we shall also take as short blunt. Nice new gloves as well. We shall take them. Of course, another gun case. I think there's one in the other side of the wardrobe as well. Yep, there is. Oh, duffel bag. Yes. Let's transfer all that over. That is very nice. Oh, we've actually got some sports shorts in there. We don't need them, so we'll, we'll put them back. we got a shotgun. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> and a pistol. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be using uh, firearms this run. <laughs> oh, wow. And more guns and ammo. Jesus. All right, so I just checked, and I didn't actually enable vanilla firearms expanded so i have just quickly turned that on um because i do want that i do want that so it looks like it's worked yet yeah, the m5 that's all good let's get home and drop all this stuff off we are very overweight i can actually hear a lot of zombies somewhere and i don't know where they are so that's quite worrying let's get our pipe oh god i can hear them where are they where's our pipe where's our pipe all right we've got our pipe for if things get a bit tasty i don't know oh my god where the hell have all these come from oh, what's this what's this guy doing he just stood there hey buddy this guy did actually have some cigarettes, which we will take. Oh, it sounds like they've broken through. That's quite worrying that that's uh, all open and exposed. Now let's go and have a lighter and actually have a, uh, a cigarette now, and also a bit of steak. All right, let's get uh, let's get some sheets up. We need them up, so I know uh, unexpected surprises come barreling through the window. We are getting tired now as well, but that's fine. Uh, what I'll do is have a very quick tidy up. A bit of organisation uh, before we hit the hay, I think, today. All right, so we've sorted some stuff out. i got uh, all the books in the bookcase. i put all the guns in here, uh, in there. We've also got a tailor and thing, but I can hear a zombie somewhere creeping. We are tired, so it's not ideal. Let's just go and do a little... Oh, there's one there. Let's go and do a little lap around the, uh, the house. Um, there are zombies down there as well, so it's more clearing out. Oh, we've got two of them here. Let's not hang around there in case we trip. Oh, 
Alright, we need to uh, we need to get to bed because we are tired. It's 20 to 11. Uh, so we'll hit the hay and we'll see you in the morning. Alright, day two. Let's go out and see how we're looking outside. Again, we're just going to be clearing the neighbourhood today, I think. Let's get a quicker... Oh, actually, I want to check this shelf here. I don't think we checked it, did we? Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, oh tune-in stuff. Oh, that's what we want. That's what we want, alright. Actually going to... Well, we're going to eat this strawberry before it goes rotten. And we're also going to eat the mac and cheese because we need to uh, We need to gain our weight up. Yeah, because we're on 70 and gaining. We could do a little bit more. I would eat the, the rice and the black beans and stuff, but... We don't have any antidepressants. I don't mind when we got antidepressants, but we do not have any. So, right. Oh, okay. Okay. We got some, uh, where are you going? Hey, I'm over here. Idiot. Yeah, I've never actually played with the, uh, construction worker profession. I don't think in all my hours. Not a bad, uh, not a bad one. You start with three short blunt, which is really helping, and uh, leveling carpentry. Is it carpentry you start with? Yeah, so you're going to get an XP boost from that as well, which is nice. All right, let's venture out a little. Oh, oh, we've got a, uh, a survivor zombie down there. Headhunter, I think. Let's try and kite him up here. We might be able to get some good gear from him. We'll take the gun and the magazine. Why the hell not? And the painkillers, you know. Um, and you got to get that bread. Ah, uh, do we? Yeah, let's wear the coat. Let's wear it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> we look like the Grim Reaper. All right, well, we are now the Grim Reaper, not a construction worker, but that's fine. All right, let's start going through these houses. Let's mark the house we did do. There we go. Uh, I know I always uh, get confused, so let's have a look in here. Nice new bag or something. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought there was an alarm going to go off. Now that would be the worst ever if we had an alarm go off. Can you imagine? Whew, I, just, I need to. I nearly had a heart attack from that zombie. <laughs> I can hear zombies. I just don't know where the hell they are. Herbalist. Yes, please. Oh, pipe wrench. Yes. And a walkie talkie. Thank you. Oh, hand axe. Yes, we will take that. And more guns. <laughs> I feel the game is uh, trying to tell me something here. Yeah, sometimes it is very, uh, very generous. I mean, even with Extremely Rare when I've played it. Oh, me oh, you can get music books. We are playing with the Hobbies mod again. That's nice. That's nice. Let's take that. We could do with more uh, more guns. Let's go back. Uh, not more guns. Sorry, we got plenty of guns. More melee weapons. Let's get back and drop all this stuff off. And then we'll uh, we'll go through the garages, I think. That's where we're going to get some weapons. I do like these, uh, this, this cloak. I do really like it. Hey, you ain't sneaking up on me. Oh dear. All right, let's be having you. Just the two of you? No problem with me. Yes, another metal pipe. We get anything good in the shed? Of course, it's locked, of course. Another metal pipe, yes please. More metal pipe. Oh, and a propane tank, do we need that? We will take it. All right, let's, let's go drop this off and finish clearing out the neighborhood. Gotta be careful this uh, cloak doesn't make us overheated though. That's what I'm uh, worried about. Uh, let's do the rest of the houses on this side of the road and then also, uh, actually, let's get a couple of pipes on us until we gain our maintenance. I feel we're gonna be going through them fairly quick. Uh, I think two should do it. We will favour them as well. Yeah, let's do the rest of the houses on this side and then also the garages. I think zombie, we're okay for zombies uh, around here. How many have we killed already? It's got to be a fair few. 78. Jesus. I mean, we may have to use short blunt this run. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? With the X. How much XP boost do we get from that? Um, 125%. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll take all of that. And we'll uh, close the, uh, the garage door. Oh, it doesn't have one. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. Um, oh well. Nearly. But not quite. Oh, there's a few coming now. Oh yes, give me them pipes. Give me the pipes. Give me the pipes. Okay, let's go and do another drop off at home. A lot of loot around here. A lot of, uh, oh, I see zombies. That's fine. I'll pause it. Yeah, it's a fairly big size when you think about it. It's like a whole, you know, res well, it's, it's like the commercial, the high street of Louisville, really. It is a nice size. We've got a lot of, maybe these are a school and stuff. We'll probably have a little look up there. We're doing okay for books, to be fair, though. A VHS store is uh, what we really need. But in time, let's deal with these locals. Oh, oh Lord, there's a few of them up there. I feel maybe we should deal with that horde, maybe. Let's try and kite a couple of them. That is a big old horde. Oh, God, there's a crawler there. I didn't realise. Oh, he could have had a chunk out of our shin. 
That's it. One at a time. All three at a time. I'm happy with that. Oh, well, looks like we got most of them. We'll have this uh, trowel or fork that's in this guy's back. Thanks, buddy. And fork, yes, that's, uh, we will have that. Oh, well, the area is, I would like to think, fairly clear. I mean, we've killed 108 zombies already. Uh, there's a zombie in here somewhere. I don't know where. Hmm, I think he's upstairs. So we're going to be careful. I see him over there. Not today, zombie. Go on, lady, be quiet. Oh, there goes the pipe. Antidepressants, nice, nice, nice. We wanted them. That's a nice, uh, nice find. I mean, we'll take another pipe wrench. You can never have too many pipe wrenches, I think. Another gun case and a load of guns in there. I can't get in there. Someone's put a bloody chest of drawers there. Uh, but they do have a nice pistol for us. All right, let's head home. Let's head home. I think we're going to start getting tired soon anyway. So we've cleared this side of the street, which was our goal. All right, we're home. Probably going to spend the rest of the day just reading an electronics book just so we can actually get rid of all this uh, trash on the floor here. We have got a hell of a lot of books already ah what a way to uh to finish the day just sat reading a nice book about electronics all right so we got about halfway through the book we're gonna just pop that down next we need to finish it uh, we're gonna have a smoke um and then we're gonna head to bed so we'll uh catch you in the morning all right day three let's head out we're gonna have a little scope around the area i think today we're gonna go have a look at these uh maybe at this industrial place here just to check it out see how uh, see what's going on down there maybe get some good loot but first we need a little snack i think maybe uh maybe some sugar yeah just eat some sugar come on andy man eat some sugar all right we're good to go a couple of locals have decided to come on over and say hello and it's time for them to meet the pipe oh yeah that's how we do it around here all right, so we're venturing out of our uh, street for the first time. There's a fair few of them over there, um, which I'm not too uh, too happy about. Uh, and they've decided to come on over as well. Well, come on down. Nice working car would be good, but I think that's, uh, that's asking too much. Um, I was going to loot the houses across the road, but I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do um, with there being possibility of an alarm. That could be really, uh, really bad for us, actually. Uh, at least until we know what the situation's like around us. All right, so we're in this area. Looks like there's a fair few. Not a problem. Again, they can meet the pipe. Okay, looks all right. Door's locked, of course. Can we get in without alerting them over there? I think we might be able to. Whew. Okay, well, they just keep on coming, don't they? All right, we're in the warehouse. Oh, that zombie broke down the bloody door anyway in the end. Wow, level three in a... Oh, we got a sledgehammer. <laughs> oh my God, look at all this lovely, lovely loot. We're gonna need a bigger bag. We are short blunt kings. Yeah, as I was saying, short blunt starting at level three. Whoa, we are very overweight. Let's get back for the day, I think. We came, we saw, we can't... Oh, okay, this is not good. Ah, we're going to be able to hop the fence. This could be risky. This could be risky. I don't think we're going to be able to. If we can, that's ideal. We're, we're home free. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we are home. So I think we're just going to sort a bit more of the base. I want to finish reading Electronics 1. That's what we're going to do. So many metal bars, lead pipes. We got the lot. Do we need the axe? Probably not, to be fair. We'll leave that. Right, let's finish reading this bloody book and then we can get rid of all the scrap off the floor. All right, we just finished Electronic 1. Um, I can hear zombies around somewhere, so we're going to go have a look. Yep. Oh, we got a couple of them. All right. And uh, for your troubles, I'll leave you with uh, that book. The camping stuff, the camping canteens last bloody ages they are very nice now, especially with high first all right we've got we've read it let's dismantle all this stuff maybe we'll get to level two uh level one i don't know if we will it hasn't only got us there to be fair uh, we may actually be able to get there with all the stuff that we've got is the camera gonna do it for us oh not quite not quite okay we're gonna have a lot of trash on us but that's fine 10 batteries we ain't never gonna worry about batteries all right we need a tiny little bit let's go into one of the houses and dismantle i don't know the tv or something just to get us over the line there weight is uh, not looking the best but we can eat some black beans now that we have um some antidepressants ah oh, there we go electrical one okay that is uh that's nice that's really nice actually right, let's go back and have some food now we're definitely going to be putting this uh, sledgehammer to use uh, absolutely let's just put it there for now oh i can hear zombies i feel they're going to keep coming from this road here maybe we go and uh yeah, we may have to clear that out Definitely gonna have to re put a door up there. Maybe, oh, look at all them down there. 
That's a job for tomorrow. Oh god, I don't even have this in my primary. Gotta be careful with that with the fancier handwork. Hmm. We are uh, definitely gonna run out of space um, for all these guns. <laughs> yep, we can't get them in there. Uh, let's put them in the oven for now. Uh, there you go. Uh, if in doubt, just put your guns in the oven. Actually, we'll put them in the one above. That would that would make more sense. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, it's, uh, it's 20 to nine, so it's probably about time we go to bed. We are tired. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hit the hay tomorrow. I think we're gonna do more sorting uh, and more reading, I think. So we'll see you then. All right, day four. Uh, we're not going to do reading today. We're going to go and clear some zombies, I think. Um, what I also want to do is make sure all windows in the building are closed because we're going to have to stick inside when between days five until the helicopter comes. I always do it. Definitely ain't worth the risk in a, a place like this. Just making sure it is all secure so the helicopter won't be able to see in. All right, this one's closed. Yep, yeah, yeah. we've got sheets on the door there. Yep, they're all closed. What about the bathroom? Yep, okay. I spotted this one though. There we go. Closed now. Uh, all the kitchen's closed. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, let's go to the back. Uh, I can hear zombies banging around somewhere, shuffling and moving around. Uh, we have got two chevrons weight as well. That's nice. Uh, we got again a lot of fog, aren't we, this playthrough? It's like two days of fog already. Whew. Now let's go and clear these, uh, these bastards out down here that we saw, I think. We don't want them wandering over. Over, do we come on come on that's it don't know why we have a spatula in our inventory all right well that's them dealt with oh god windows are smashing oh jesus christ run my oh, god getting a bit too cocky there wasn't i it's always the way it's always what gets you killed in pz That house looks like it's got a very secure garden, actually, doesn't it? Let's go back down to this warehouse and try and get a few more bits and kill some zombies while we're at it. We got six pipes on us, Jesus. I didn't realise that. But yeah, I'm liking liking the map so far. I like the high Z pop. Keeps things interesting, absolutely. Oh, box of nails, we'll have them. Oh, propane torch as well. That's nice. That is really nice. And of course, more pi uh, pipes. <laughs> Never say no to more pipes. We did get quite lucky with the spawn. I don't know what the spawns are like here. I, I don't know. Maybe we spawn near here because we are a construction worker, possibly. I know vanilla kind of puts you in places that match your profession. I'm not sure if that is something with this mod. But then we are in a, uh, quite a built a residential area. So there's probably a lot of things that will spawn. Because it's a house at the end of the day. Let's deal with these jokers. <laughs> Oh, oh, what we got down here? Is it another headhunter? Oh, we never checked the backpack for the headhunter. I don't think he had one that last one. But that backpack looks like it's something uh, that I want. There is only supposed to be, I think it's uh, a 2% chance of the headhunter spawning. Okay, so capacity 2185. I feel that's going to be better than a duffel bag. Uh, 2185. Uh, yes, 100% better. Uh, no, let's equip that because duffel bag's okay. Um, but it just wasn't cutting it, to be honest. Kind of want the mask as well, because uh, I feel corpse sickness could be an issue. Maybe we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take the mask, so we got it. I do actually prefer wearing the welding mask, because then we're always ready to weld <laughs> when it's, uh, you know, when we're going around. Oh, what we got over here then? Um, okay, that's interesting. That's uh, for another day. you got a truck down there as well. Let's, uh, let's head back, start heading back anyway. You're gonna eat that butter as well, just to get them calories pumping still. Didn't actually make us sad. I thought it made you sad, but I guess not. All right, let's let's get home. Finish tidying up, I think. I'm gonna keep a weapon on me. Uh, let's keep the lead pipe on us, I think. Ah, we could do with scissors as well, actually. All right, so I think we'll actually have our tailoring station over here. I do like to have uh, my base in a certain way, as you probably know from now, if you've watched uh, you know, a few of my videos. I do like to have certain things uh, in certain places just how I uh, how I roll to be honest I always have like my bags and important stuff under the sink don't know why do not know why uh, like all the odd bits that you really need uh, you know like your pipe wrench your bags and and things like that um yeah and the rest uh, we're actually going to put the batteries in there as well I think all right we have tidied the house uh, 10 to 6 we are actually nearly at short blunt level 4 which is really nice we are going to be smashing schools I uh I have no doubt about that oh I found some more books we'll have them um but yeah I think we'll probably just read for the rest of the day and then we've got days of reading because of course the helicopter's due I believe it's between days 5 and 10 or is it 7 and 10 I know I can never remember let me know in the comments um I always forget but I am not risking it not around here Weight's looking good. Yeah, so we'll see you in the morning. Damn it, I was just on our way upstairs. I read some magazines, running upstairs, tripped over that. God, 
damn it now we've got a hole in our bloody boots uh yeah i'd read all the magazines before bed and dumped one on this zombie um mm, that is very annoying actually i won't lie um we need to find more boots but i suppose some shoes oh, they've got holes in uh they haven't okay so we're gonna have to wear shoes for the time being it's a very annoying i did like our boots but um and we will not be going anywhere then for the next couple of days which is fine because the helicopter's coming i'm such a bloody idiot um but again we'll see you in the morning okay day five we're we're limping still but not too bad we woke up at 20 to 6 so maybe we went to bed a little bit too early but we're gonna have some food and then we are gonna hit them books that actually sounded like the water had gone i bloody hope not already that's not gonna be ideal how's our weight are we gonna eat a big old bag of sugar uh yes we are because why the hell not didn't even give us two chevrons uh let's just eat all this little trashy bits we've got and uh, we are bored so we're gonna read a magazine as well but we're gonna we're gonna hit the books okay so at the end of day five we managed to get through um tailoring and halfway through metal working so i think that's a pretty good result we're gonna uh, eat some we're gonna eat some cereal uh hit the hay and we'll see you in the morning okay day six we woke up at eight o'clock a much more reasonable time i think 12 o'clock is the optimal time to go to bed roughly oh i thought i had the other cups of them but i didn't that's fine so again you know we're just gonna crack on with them boats we're gonna sit in our little seat over here um as we do no sleep no nope. we're gonna sit down and we're gonna finish my work in one crack on there andy man all right the end of day six we did manage to get a uh, mechanics read um and we also read some magazines because we was getting a little bit bored as i'm sure you uh can imagine looks like the corpses are starting to despawn i think i've got it set to 100 hours uh, before they despawn oh my god are they military but are they the ones we put there or are they nice fresh ones let's deal with this joker uh, they don't seem to have a hole in them do they they must be nice fresh ones oh uh, oh yes okay we will uh yeah, well, we'll have them. Perfect. <laughs> you have your shoes, mate. But anyway, yeah, we're going to have some food and then off to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I shouldn't have gone outside, actually, because the bloody helicopter, should I? That was risky. That was risky. But um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day seven. We have lost uh, underweight. We're at 78 weight, which is nice. Still with two chevrons, we'll probably get to 80. I still hear a bloody zombie somewhere. But um, yeah, we are a little bit... Uh, we're getting bored. Um, let's read a quick magazine. But again, we are just going to hit the books. You know, you can't put a price on knowledge. Knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. So yeah, we're going to crack on and wait for this bloody helicopter. I can still hear a zombie outside, but I'm not going out there because I know as soon as I do, the bloody helicopter will come. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. He's baiting me out there and I'm just, I'm not doing it. Looks like we're going to have to read farming. We're running out of books to read. We have finished carpentry as well. So that's nice. All right, it's 20 past 11. We didn't actually finish um, farming. Uh, we're going to have some food, have a smoke, everything we need before we get into bed. Uh, we'll eat this bullion cube because uh, why not? Food, we're looking okay for food to be honest. Not worried about that. Let's eat some tuna and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get off to bed. Hopefully the helicopter comes tomorrow on day eight tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll see you then. Okay. 10 to 8 in the morning. We've woke up fairly fresh, a little bit hungry. I do like this fancy handwork. It's really good. Definitely go check it out. As I say, I'll link the uh, mod list in the description so go check it out um let's get some food in us uh fill our uh, camping stuff up let's check see if the water's gone out actually wow it has okay that's uh that's gonna be a problem can you fill up from these uh no you can't okay um but we can definitely fill up from the sink um so let's get some water probably read some magazines um and yeah i'll let you know if the uh the old uh, chopper comes. All right, it's 10 to 10. I did turn the TV on to see if we got uh, any update of air activity, but it doesn't look like it. I don't I think you can get it on the... Why the hell's that in there? I don't know if you can get it on the uh, on the TV. I think you can on the news channel. I know you can on the radio, but we're going to eat, eat some food. We are um, extremely bored, and we're starting to get a tad weepy, but we've got antidepressants, so it's not the end of the world. And that didn't really fill us up, did it? We're going to have to eat some more. Let's eat some spaghetti bolognese, uh, and then we're going to go to bed, and uh, yeah, hopefully it will come tomorrow okay day nine 20 to 7 still no helicopter and i can hear zombies there's definitely a couple of them out there all we got to do all we can do is just wait around let's see if there's any magazines or anything upstairs oh we got a newspaper so i guess we'll read that not really going to do a lot though to be honest uh, i'm going to word search as well all right so the helicopter's here um i can hear it hopefully i don't think it's seen as um do i want to fast forward time i think we do and then we can bail if we need to let's uh okay so it's gone it's probably going to come back. Yeah, it's going to do its pass. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, I hear zombies smashing things. It's come back again. Do hear zombies smashing things down downstairs somewhere. Oh, go away. Please, 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 please. 
Okay, it's gone. Although, I think a zombie just smashed our door, our window in. Yep. Oh, get back. Oh, God. Okay. Um. All right. We're okay outside. It's fine. The uh, helicopter didn't bring too many over. Let's uh, deal with this uh, uninvited guest. Get out of our house, you bastard. Okay. So that's that done. Right. Right. Let's sort out these moodles. We need some food. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's eat some marmalade. Why the hell not? Or fruit cocktail. We'd like a fruit cocktail. We'll open open both of them. We need a smoke. That's fine. Oh. Well. We've uh. We've done it. We're we're home free now. Oh, we've actually got a bin here we can put stuff in. Not that. Let's put all of this stuff here as we don't need it anymore. And then we're going to go have a little look around um, the area. Not go too far because they're probably stirred right up the zombies. Uh, and I want to try and stay outside as much uh, as we can because we are bored. I may even fast forward time a little bit just to get rid of this boredom. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it, I think. Because actually staying outside decreases your boredom. I don't know where you get bored inside. I mean, oh well, it is what it is. And then what we can do now that that's gone, pop a couple of antidepressants. Probably going to need two. That should kick in and we should be good to go. So let's go. And actually, let's have a look behind here and see if there's any uh, zombies. Because that's where they're coming in from, I think. So we can, if we can clear them out. Yeah, there's a couple. Not too many. Let's go clear them out so they don't wander on over to our, uh, to our gaff. <laughs> All right, well, you take that, you zombie bastards. Okay, let's uh, have a look up here. See how, uh, see how we're looking. I hear things smashing. I'm just going to ignore it. Another pipe wrench. <laughs> so many pipe wrenches. Let's uh, get the old mappage out and mark some of this stuff off because we have actually done these buildings. This is what I mean. I always forget uh, to mark stuff off. It's nice. Uh, look at all this industrial area over here. I think we're going to have loot for days. We're going to have to get into the high street at some point um, because we're going to need the VHS store because we're going to need rain collectors. We've got a lot to do, but the, the, the benefit of having a hundred days is you know you don't you, know, you ain't gonna rush around um the 30 days are fun but you do uh, it's normally for the 30 day series i do are normally on the smaller maps um where you don't really need longer than 30 days but then you do also feel that you have to get quite a lot done in a fairly short amount of time as the first 10 days like we said you're always you know setting up oh yeah there's a lot of them here are uh, you setting up and kind of waiting for the helicopter my god where the hell are all these come from uh, we're still a tad weepy. Uh, well, actually, uh, severely depressed. So let's have some more pills. The pills will sort it. The pills will sort it. Let's have a little look uh, down this road. I think we're probably going to start getting tired soon as well. Yeah, I don't want to attract too big a horde because I feel we are going to get tired. Well, let's go down south a little bit. I can see a zombie here uh, messing around down here. Uh, we are going to take some more antidepressants. Thank you. So I got... I feel it's fairly clear then round uh, round our base. We've had a very good uh, 10 days. I mean, there's a lot of houses here. There just seems to be quite a lot of loot. I mean, I don't know if that's intentional, as I say, if the, the, the mod creator, if that's something they can do or have done. Um, but there is, just seem to be a lot. Oh, we've got bloody... We've got a hole here now. We need to, uh, we need to get this boarded up. Uh, we do have an axe, so we can use that. And we don't have enough nails. Let's get some nails. You know, we may as well chop a tree down and do it properly. Hand axe probably hasn't got a lot of uh, a lot of durability though, because we're not even at um, level one maintenance yet. Okay, this will do. Let's board uh, let's board our house up. We'll put a plank on each, I think. We are getting tired, so we'll save that till tomorrow. And let's eat some of this. What did? Uh, oh yeah, let me put my axe back. So I know I'll forget. I just know it, and I'll end up having it on me. <sighs> do we delete this stuff? Probably not. Let's uh, let's keep it there for the time being. Well, our depression has actually gone as well, which is nice. We stayed outside for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's half past ten. We're going to get to bed tomorrow. We're going to fortify the base. So we'll see you then. All right, day ten, half past six. We have uh, survived the first ten days, nearly. We're on day ten, but we, we pretty much survived it. What I'm going to do today, I'm not going to venture far. We're probably going to stay around base, get these barricades up, and uh, yeah, get ready to kind of push into, I suppose, the town next episode. Leave me alone. No, not my window. Ah, oh, damn it. Pick this bloody glass up. I don't want this all over the floor. You can have it. Actually, you can have it back over here, you bastard. Yeah, you take the glass. Oh, I hear another one banging around somewhere. Oh, I can't actually get to that window. Okay, well, that's going to have to stay uh, unbarricaded for the time being. Oh, busy day. All I want to do is just kind of... Actually, you know how else we'll get planks? Dismantle these, because I know I'll fall over them. I know I will. Can we dismantle them? Doesn't look like we can. Uh, I thought you could. Now you can dismantle the fences. Maybe we... Let's sledgehammer them down because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to trip on them again. It looks like our, our foot has healed. Uh, so I'll actually take the bandage off because we only have one bandage. Uh, yeah, it's healed, which is nice. 
So let's get destroying. Ah, oh, lovely. No more trip hazards. Safety first. Safety first in the zombie. If there's ever a time to have safety first, it is a zombie apocalypse, surely. Uh, I would say so anyway. Oh, you're another jabroni out here somewhere. Where are you? I hear you out here. Come on, show yourself. And break your legs. I kneecap you. Have some of that. That's how we do it around here. Son of a bitch. All right, how many planks we got? We got no planks. Okay, well, that, that, that's going to do. Oh, we could dismantle all of this, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, let's clean the bandage. We're going to have to go into town and um, get some VHSs because we need stairs. We need rain collectors. We are drastically low on water, which isn't that... Well, it's not good at all, really. All right, we're just uh, snacking down on some chocolate. It's 10 past six. We've done the uh, the 10 days pretty much, so I think we're probably uh, going to leave it there for this episode. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Um, it's going to be an interesting series. I'm looking forward to it. The video is going to be coming out a lot more frequent than the uh, Raven Creek one. Looking to get free... Uh, free every other, four every other week out. Maybe four a week. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!